Luke chapters 1 to 24. Chapter 1, Purpose of Luke. 1. Since many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us, 2. Even as they delivered them unto us, who from the beginning were eyewitnesses, and ministers of the word, 3. It seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write unto you in order, most excellent Theophilus, for that you might know the certainty of those things, in which you have been instructed. Zacharias ministers in the temple. 5. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zechariah, of the course of Abia, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. 6. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. 7. And they had no child, because Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now well advanced in years. 8. And it came to pass, that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course, 9. According to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. 10. And the whole multitude of the people were praying outside at the time of incense. Angel announces the birth of John. 11. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. 12. And when Zachariah saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. 13. But the angel said unto him, Fear not. Zachariah, for your prayer is heard, and your wife Elizabeth shall bear you a son, and you shall call his name John. 14. And you shall have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. 15. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. 16. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. 17 And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Zacharias is not able to speak. 18 And Zacharias said unto the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife well advanced in years. 19 And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel, that stands in the presence of God, and am sent to speak unto you, and to show you these glad tidings. 20 And, behold, you shall be dumb, and not able to speak, until the day that these things shall be performed, because you believe not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their time. 21 And the people waited for Zechariah, and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. 22 And when he came out, he could not speak unto them, and they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned unto them, and remained speechless. 23 And it came to pass, that, as soon as the days of his service were accomplished, he departed to his own house. 24 And after those days his wife Elizabeth conceived, and hid herself five months, saying, 25 Thus has the Lord dealt with me in the days in which he looked on me, to take away my reproach among men. Gabriel announces the birth of Christ. 26 And in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee, named Nazareth, 27 to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. 28 And the angel came in unto her, and said, Hail, you that are highly favoured, the Lord is with you, blessed are you among women. 29 And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered in her mind what manner of greeting this should be. 30 And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for you have found favour with God. 31 And, behold, you shall conceive in your womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. 32 He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. 33 And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Miraculous Conception 34 Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? 35 And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Spirit shall come upon you, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you, therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of you shall be called the Son of God. 36 And, behold, your cousin Elizabeth, she has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren.
37 for with god nothing shall be impossible 38 and mary said behold the handmaid of the lord be it unto me according to your word and the angel departed from her visitation of mary to elizabeth 39 and mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into a city of juda 40 and entered into the house of zachariah and greeted elizabeth 41 and it came to pass that when elizabeth heard the greeting of mary the babe leaped in her womb and elizabeth was filled with the holy spirit 42 and she spoke out with a loud voice and said blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb 43 and why is this granted me that the mother of my lord should come to me 44 for lo as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ears the babe leaped in my womb for joy 45 and blessed is she that believed for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the lord 46 and mary said my soul does magnify the lord 47 and my spirit has rejoiced in god my savior 48 for he has regarded the low estate of his handmaiden for behold from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed 49 for he that is mighty has done to me great things and holy is his name 50 and his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation 51 he has showed strength with his arm he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts 52 he has put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of low degree 53 he has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent empty away 54 he has helped his servant israel in remembrance of his mercy 55 as he spoke to our fathers to abraham and to his descendants forever 56 and mary abode with her about 3 months and returned to her own house elizabeth gives birth to john 57 now elizabeth's full time came that she should be delivered and she brought forth a son 58 and her neighbors and her cousins heard how the lord had showed great mercy upon her and they rejoiced with her 59 and it came to pass that on the 8th day they came to circumcise the child and they called him zachariah after the name of his father 60 and his mother answered and said not so but he shall be called john 61 and they said unto her there is none of your kindred that is called by this name 62 and they made signs to his father what he would have him called 63 and he asked for a writing tablet and wrote saying his name is john and they marveled all 64 and his mouth was opened immediately and his tongue loosed and he spoke and praised god 65 and fear came on all that dwelt round about them and all these things were spread abroad throughout all the hill country of judea 66 and all they that heard them laid them up in their hearts saying what manner of child shall this be and the hand of the lord was with him zacharias prophesies the ministry of john 67 and his father zachariah was filled with the holy spirit and prophesied saying 68 blessed be the lord god of israel for he has visited and redeemed his people 69 and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant david 70 as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets who have been since the world began 71 that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us 72 to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant 73 the oath which he swore to our father abraham 74 that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear 75 in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life 76 and you child shall be called the prophet of the highest for you shall go before the face of the lord to prepare his ways 77 to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins 78 through the tender mercy of our god by which the dawn from on high has visited us 79 to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace 80 and the child grew and became strong in spirit and was in the desert till the day of his showing unto israel chapter 2 birth of christ One and it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. Two and this taxing was first made when Quirinius was governor of Syria. Three and all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. 
4 and Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David smiley face 5 to be taxed with Mary his espoused wife being great with child 6 and so it was that while they were there the days were accomplished that she should be delivered 7 and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn angels announced jesus to the shepherds eight and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field keeping watch over their flock by night nine and lo the angel of the lord came upon them and the glory of the lord shone round about them and they were much afraid then and the angel said unto them fear not for behold i bring you good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people 11 for unto you is born this day in the city of david a savior who is christ the lord 12 and this shall be a sign unto you you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger 13 and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising god and saying 14 glory to god in the highest and on earth peace good will toward men shepherds visit jesus 15 and it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven the shepherds said one to another let us now go even unto bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass which the lord has made known unto us 16 and they came with haste and found mary and joseph and the babe lying in a manger 17 and when they had seen it they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child 18 and all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds 19 but mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart 20 and the shepherds returned glorifying and praising god for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them christ is circumcised 21 and when 8 days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child his name was called jesus who was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb 22 and when the days of her purification according to the law of moses were accomplished they brought him to jerusalem to present him to the lord 23 as it is written in the law of the lord every male that opens the womb shall be called holy to the lord 24 and to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the lord a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons prophecy of simeon 25 and behold there was a man in jerusalem whose name was simeon and the same man was just and devout waiting for the consolation of israel and the holy spirit was upon him 26 and it was revealed unto him by the holy spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the lord's christ 27 and he came by the spirit into the temple and when the parents brought in the child jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law 28 then he took him up in his arms and blessed god and said 29 lord now let your servant depart in peace according to your word 30 for my eyes have seen your salvation 31 which you have prepared before the face of all people 32 a light to light in the gentiles and the glory of your people israel 33 and joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him 34 and simeon blessed them and said unto mary his mother behold this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in israel and for a sign which shall be spoken against 35 year a sword shall pierce through your own soul also that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed prophecy of anna 36 and there was one anna a prophetess the daughter of phanuel of the tribe of asher she was of a great age and had lived with a husband 7 years from her virginity 37 and she was a widow of about 4 score and 4 years who departed not from the temple but served god with fastings and prayers night and day 38 and she coming in that instant gave thanks likewise unto the lord and spoke of him to all them that looked for redemption in jerusalem jesus returns to nazareth 39 and when they had performed all things according to the law of the lord they returned into galilee to their own city nazareth 40 and the child grew and became strong in spirit filled with wisdom and the grace of god was upon him jesus celebrates the passover 41 now his parents went to jerusalem every year at the feast of the passover 42 and when he was 12 years old they went up to jerusalem according to the custom of the feast 
43 And when they had fulfilled the days, as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem, and Joseph and his mother knew not of it. 44 But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintances. 45 And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. 46 And it came to pass, that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them, and asking them questions. 47 And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. 48 And when they saw him, they were amazed, and his mother said unto him, Son, why have you thus dealt with us? Behold, your father and I have sought your sorrowing. 49 And he said unto them, How is it that you have sought me? Knew you not that I must be about my father's business? 50 And they understood not the saying which he spoke unto them. Jesus increases in wisdom and stature. 51 And he went down with them, and came to Nazareth, and was subject unto them, but his mother kept all these sayings in her heart. 52 And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature, and in favor with God and man. Chapter 3 Ministry of John the Baptist 1 Now in the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea, and Herod being tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip tetrarch of Ituria and of the region of Trachonitis, and Lysanias the tetrarch of Abilene, to Annas and Caiaphas being the high priests, the word of God came unto John the son of Zechariah in the wilderness. 3 And he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins, for as it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. 5 Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth, 6 And all flesh shall see the salvation of God. 7 Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who has warned you to flee from the wrath to come. 8 Bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance, and begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham our father, for I say unto you, that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. 9 And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees, every tree therefore which brings not forth good fruit is cut down, and cast into the fire. 10 And the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? 11 He answered and said unto them, He that has two coats, let him impart to him that has none, and he that has food, let him do likewise. 12 Then came also tax collectors to be baptized, and said unto him, Teacher, what shall we do? 13 And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed you. 14 And the soldiers likewise asked of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. 15 And as the people were in expectation, and all men questioned in their hearts concerning John, whether he was the Christ, or not, 16 John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I comes, the tongue of whose shoes I am not worthy to untie. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire, seventeen whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor, and will gather the wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn with fire unquenchable. Eighteen and many other things in his exhortation preached he unto the people. Nineteen but Herod the Tetrarch, being reproved by him for Herodias his brother Philip's wife, and for all the evils which Herod had done, twenty added yet this above all, that he shut up John in prison. Baptism of Christ 21 Now when all the people were baptized, it came to pass, that when Jesus also was baptized, and praying, the heaven was opened, twenty-two and the Holy Spirit descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven, which said, You are my beloved Son, in you I am well pleased. Genealogy of Christ through Mary 23 And Jesus himself was about thirty years of age, being as was supposed the son of Joseph, who was the son of Heli, 24 Who was the son of Matthat, who was the son of Levi, who was the son of Melchi, who was the son of Jannai, who was the son of Joseph, 25 Who was the son of Matthatias, who was the son of Amos, who was the son of Naim, who was the son of Esli, 
who was the son of Nagai, 26 who was the son of Mart, who was the son of Matthias, who was the son of Semin, who was the son of Josek, who was the son of Jodel, 27 who was the son of Jonan, who was the son of Reza, who was the son of Zerubbabel, who was the son of Shiltil, who was the son of Neri, 28 who was the son of Melchi, who was the son of Adi, who was the son of Kosim, who was the son of Elmodim, who was the son of Er, 29 who was the son of Joshua, who was the son of Eliezer, who was the son of Jorim, who was the son of Matthat, who was the son of Levi, 30 who was the son of Simeon, who was the son of Judah, who was the son of Joseph, who was the son of Jonam, who was the son of Eliakim, 31 who was the son of Melia, who was the son of Menna, who was the son of Matthatha, who was the son of Nathan, who was the son of David, 32 who was the son of Jesse, who was the son of Obed, who was the son of Boaz, who was the son of Salmon, who was the son of Nishon, 33 who was the son of Amanadab, who was the son of Ram, who was the son of Hezron, who was the son of Perez, who was the son of Judah, 34 who was the son of Jacob, who was the son of Isaac, who was the son of Abraham, who was the son of Terah, who was the son of Nahor, 35 who was the son of Serg, who was the son of Reu, who was the son of Peleg, who was the son of Eber, who was the son of Shela, 36 who was the son of Canaan, who was the son of Arphaxad, who was the son of Shem, who was the son of Noah, who was the son of Lamech, 37 who was the son of Matusela, who was the son of Enoch, who was the son of Jared, who was the son of Mahalalel, who was the son of Canaan, 38 who was the son of Enos, who was the son of Seth, who was the son of Adam, who was the son of God. Chapter 4 Temptation of Christ 1 And Jesus being full of the Holy Spirit returned from the Jordan, and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, to being forty days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing, and when they were ended, he afterward hungered. 3 And the devil said unto him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. 4 And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. 5 And the devil, taking him up into a high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. 6 And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give you, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will I give it. 7 If you therefore will worship me, all shall be yours. 8 And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get you behind me, Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. 9 And he brought him to Jerusalem, and set him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If you are the Son of God, cast yourself down from here. 10 For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you, 11 And in their hands they shall bear you up, lest at any time you dash your foot against a stone. 12 And Jesus answering said unto him, It is said, You shall not test the Lord your God. 13 And when the devil had ended every temptation, he departed from him for a season. Jesus is accepted throughout Galilee. 14 And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. 15 And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified by all. Jesus is rejected in Nazareth. 16 And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and, as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and stood up to read. 17 And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, 18 The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, 19 To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. 20 And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. 21 And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. 22 And all bore him witness, and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is not this Joseph's son? 23 And he said unto them, You will surely say unto me this proverb, Physician, heal yourself, whatsoever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in your country. 
24 And he said, Verily, I say unto you, No prophet is accepted in his own country. 25 But I tell you a truth, Many widows were in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, when great famine was throughout all the land, 26 But unto none of them was Elijah sent, except unto Zarephath, a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. 27 And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elisha the prophet, and none of them was cleansed, except Naaman the Syrian. 28 And all they in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath, 29 And rose up, and thrust him out of the city, and led him unto the brow of the hill on which their city was built, that they might cast him down headlong. 30 But he passing through the midst of them went his way. Jesus casts out devils. 31 And came down to Capernaum, a city of Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath days. 32 And they were astonished at his doctrine, for his word was with power. 33 And in the synagogue there was a man, who had a spirit of an unclean demon, and cried out with a loud voice, 34 Saying, Let us alone, what have we to do with you, you Jesus of Nazareth? Are you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. 35 And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold your peace, and come out of him. And when the demon had thrown him down in the midst, he came out of him, and hurt him not. 36 And they were all amazed, and spoke among themselves, saying, What a word is this? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. 37 And the fame of him went out into every place of the country round about. Mother of Peter's wife is healed. 38 And he arose out of the synagogue, and entered into Simon's house. And Simon's wife's mother was ill with a high fever, and they besought him for her. 39 And he stood over her, and rebuked the fever, and it left her, and immediately she arose and ministered unto them. Jesus ministers throughout Galilee. 40 Now when the sun was setting, all they that had any sick with various diseases brought them unto him, and he laid his hands on every one of them, and healed them. 41 And demons also came out of many, crying out, and saying, You are Christ the Son of God. And he rebuking them permitted them not to speak, for they knew that he was Christ. 42 And when it was day, he departed and went into a desert place, and the people sought him, and came unto him, and would have kept him, that he should not depart from them. 43 And he said unto them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, for therefore am I sent. 44 And he preached in the synagogues of Galilee. Chapter 5 The first disciples are called. 1 And it came to pass, that, as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret, to and saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them, and were washing their nets. 3 And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and asked him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down, and taught the people out of the ship. 4 Now when he had ceased speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep, and let down your nets for a catch. 5 And Simon answering said unto him, Teacher, we have toiled all the night, and have taken nothing, nevertheless at your word I will let down the net. 6 And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fish, and their net broke. 7 And they beckoned unto their partners, who were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came, and filled both the ships, so that they began to sink. 8 When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. 9 For he was astonished, and all that were with him, at the catch of the fish which they had taken. 10 And so was also James, and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from now on you shall catch men. 11 And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all, and followed him. A leper is cleansed. 12 And it came to pass, when he was in a certain city, behold a man full of leprosy, who seeing Jesus fell on his face, and besought him, saying, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. 13 And he put forth his hand, and touched him, saying, I will, be clean. And immediately the leprosy departed from him. 14 And he charged him to tell no man, but go, and show yourself to the priest, 
and offer for your cleansing, according as Moses commanded, for a testimony unto them. 15 But so much the more went there a fame abroad of him, and great multitudes came together to hear, and to be healed by him of their infirmities. The sick of palsy is healed. 16 And he withdrew himself into the wilderness, and prayed. 17 And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there were Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting by, who were come out of every town of Galilee, and Judea, and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. 18 And, behold, men brought in a bed a man who was a paralytic, and they sought a way to bring him in, and to lay him before him. 19 And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude, they went upon the housetop and let him down through the tiling with his bed into the midst before Jesus. 20 And when he saw their faith, he said unto him, Man, your sins are forgiven you. 21 And the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who can forgive sins, but God alone? 22 But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answering said unto them, Why reason you in your hearts? 23 Which is easier, to say, Your sins be forgiven you, or to say, Rise up and walk. 24 But that you may know that the Son of Man has power upon earth to forgive sins, he said unto the paralytic, I say unto you, Arise, and take up your bed, and go into your house. 25 And immediately he rose up before them, and took up that on which he lay, and departed to his own house, glorifying God. 26 And they were all amazed, and they glorified God, and were filled with fear, saying, We have seen strange things today. The Calling of Matthew 27 And after these things he went forth, and saw a tax collector, named Levi, sitting at the tax office, and he said unto him, Follow me. 28 And he left all, rose up, and followed him. Jesus eats with sinners. 29 And Levi made himself a great feast in his own house, and there was a great company of tax collectors and of others that sat down with them. 30 But their scribes and Pharisees murmured against his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? 31 And Jesus answering said unto them, They that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. 32 I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Jesus teaches about fasting. 33 And they said unto him, Why do the disciples of John fast often, and make prayers, and likewise the disciples of the Pharisees, but you eat and drink? 34 And he said unto them, Can you make the friends of the bridegroom fast, while the bridegroom is with them? 35 But the days will come, when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. Parable of the Cloth and Old Bottles 36 And he spoke also a parable unto them, No man puts a piece stone from a new garment upon an old, otherwise, then both the new makes it there, and the piece that was taken out of the new does not match the old. 37 And no man puts new wine into old wineskins, else the new wine will burst the wineskins, and be spilled, and the wineskins shall be destroyed. 38 But new wine must be put into new wineskins, and both are preserved. 39 No man also having drunk old wine immediately desires new, for he says, the old is better. Chapter 6 Jesus labors on the Sabbath 1 And it came to pass on the second Sabbath after the first, that he went through the grain fields, and his disciples plucked the ears of grain, and did eat, rubbing them in their hands. 2 And certain of the Pharisees said unto them, Why do you that which is not lawful to do on the Sabbath days? 3 And Jesus answering them said, Have you not read so much as thus, what David did, when he was hungry, and they who were with him, for how he went into the house of God, and did take and eat the showbread, and gave also to them that were with him, which it is not lawful to eat, but for the priests alone. 5 And he said unto them, The Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. Jesus heals on the Sabbath. 6 And it came to pass also on another Sabbath, that he entered into the synagogue and taught, and there was a man whose right hand was withered. 7 And the scribes and Pharisees watched him, whether he would heal on the Sabbath day, that they might find an accusation against him. 8 But he knew their thoughts, and said to the man who had the withered hand, Rise up, and stand forth in the midst. And he arose and stood forth. 9 Then said Jesus unto them, 
I will ask you one thing, is it lawful on the Sabbath days to do good, or to do evil, to save life, or to destroy it? Ten and looking round about upon them all, he said unto the man, Stretch forth your hand. And he did so, and his hand was restored whole as the other. Eleven and they were filled with fury, and discussed one with another what they might do to Jesus. Jesus chooses twelve apostles. Twelve and it came to pass in those days, that he went out into a mountain to pray, and continued all night in prayer to God. Thirteen and when it was day, he called unto him his disciples, and of them he chose twelve, whom also he named apostles, fourteen Simon, whom he also named Peter, and Andrew his brother, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, fifteen Matthew and Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon called Zelots, sixteen and Judas the brother of James, and Judas Iscariot, who also was the traitor. Seventeen and he came down with them, and stood in the plain, and the company of his disciples, and a great multitude of people out of all Judea and Jerusalem, and from the seacoast of Tyre and Sidon, who came to hear him, and to be healed of their diseases, eighteen and they that were troubled with unclean spirits, and they were healed. Nineteen and the whole multitude sought to touch him, for there went power out of him, and healed them all. The Beatitudes Twenty and he lifted up his eyes on his disciples, and said, Blessed be your poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Twenty one Blessed are you that hunger now, for you shall be filled. Blessed are you that weep now, for you shall laugh. Twenty two Blessed are you, when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil, for the Son of Man's sake. Twenty three Rejoice in that day, and leap for joy. For, behold, your reward is great in heaven, for in like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. 24 But woe unto you that are rich, for you have received your consolation. 25 Woe unto you that are full, for you shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. 26 Woe unto you, when all men shall speak well of you. For so did their fathers to the false prophets. Principles for Kingdom Living 27 But I say unto you who hear, love your enemies, do good to them who hate you. 28 Bless them that curse you, and pray for them who despitefully use you. 29 And unto him that smites you on the one cheek offer also the other, and he that takes away your cloak forbid not to take your coat also. 30 Give to every man that asks of you, and of him that takes away your goods ask them not again. 31 And as you would that men should do to you. Do you also do them likewise? 32 For if you love them who love you, what thanks have you? For sinners also love those that love them. 33 And if you do good to them who do good to you, what thanks have you? For sinners also do even the same. 34 And if you lend to them of whom you hope to receive, what thanks have you? For sinners also lend to sinners, to receive as much again. 35 But love your enemies, and do good and lend, hoping for nothing in return, and your reward shall be great, and you shall be the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. 36 Be you therefore merciful, as your father also is merciful. 37 Judge not, and you shall not be judged, condemn not, and you shall not be condemned, forgive, and you shall be forgiven. 38 Give, and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over shall men give into your lap. For with the same measure that you measure it shall be measured to you again. Parable of the Blind Leading the Blind 39 And he spoke a parable unto them, Can the blind lead the blind? Shall they not both fall into the ditch? 40 The disciple is not above his teacher, but every one that is perfect shall be as his teacher. 41 And why behold you the speck that is in your brother's eye, but perceive not the beam that is in your own eye. 42 Either how can you say to your brother, Brother, let me pull out the speck that is in your eye, when you yourself behold not the beam that is in your own eye. You hypocrite, cast out first the beam out of your own eye, and then shall you see clearly to pull out the speck that is in your brother's eye. 43 For a good tree brings not forth corrupt fruit, neither does a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. 44 For every tree is known by its own fruit. For from thorns men do not gather figs, nor of a bramble bush gather they grapes. 
45 A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth that which is good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. Parable of the Two Foundations 46 And why call me, Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? 47 Whosoever comes to me, and hears my sayings, and does them, I will show you to whom he is like. 48 He is like a man who built a house, and dug deep, and laid the foundation on a rock, and when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house, and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. 49 But he that hears, and does not, is like a man that without a foundation built a house upon the earth, against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. Chapter 7 The Centurion's Servant is Healed One now when he had ended all his sayings in the audience of the people, he entered into Capernaum. Two and a certain centurion's servant, who was dear to him, was sick and ready to die. Three and when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. Four and when they came to Jesus, they besought him earnestly, saying, that he was worthy for whom he should do this, five for he loves our nation, and he has built us a synagogue. Six then Jesus went with them. And when he was now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not yourself, for I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Seven therefore neither thought I myself worthy to come unto you, but say a word, and my servant shall be healed. Eight for I also am a man set under authority, having under me soldiers, and I say unto one, Go, and he goes, and to another, Come, and he comes, and to my servant, Do this, and he does it. 9 When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him, and turned about, and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found such great faith, no, not in Israel. 10 And they that were sent, returning to the house, found the servant whole that had been sick. A widow's son is raised from the dead. 11 And it came to pass the next day that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him, and many people. 12 Now when he came near to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and many people of the city were with her. 13 And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said unto her, Weep not. 14 And he came and touched the coffin, and they that bore him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto you, Arise. 15 And he that was dead sat up, and began to speak. And he delivered him to his mother. 16 And there came a fear on all, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet is risen up among us, and God has visited his people. John sends messengers with questions. 17 And this report of him went forth throughout all Judea, and throughout all the region round about. 18 And the disciples of John showed him all these things. 19 And John calling unto him two of his disciples sent them to Jesus, saying, Are you he that should come? Or look we for another? 20 When the men were come unto him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us unto you, saying, Are you he that should come? Or look we for another? 21 And in that same hour he cured many of their infirmities and plagues, and of evil spirits, and unto many that were blind he gave sight. 22 Then Jesus answering said unto them, Go your way, and tell John what things you have seen and heard, how that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, to the poor the gospel is preached. 23 And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. Jesus praises John. 24 And when the messengers of John were departed, he began to speak unto the people concerning John, What went you out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind. 25 But what went you out to see? A man clothed in soft clothing. Behold, they who are gorgeously apparelled, and live in luxury, are in king's courts. 26 But what went you out to see? A prophet. Pierre, I say unto you, and much more than a prophet. 27 This is he, of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who shall prepare your way before you. 28 For I say unto you, 
Among those that are born of women there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist, but he that is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. 29 And all the people that heard him, and the tax collectors, justified God, being baptized with the baptism of John. 30 But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves, being not baptized of him. Jesus rebukes his generation. 31 And the Lord said, To what then shall I liken the men of this generation? And to what are they like? 32 They are like unto children sitting in the marketplace, and calling one to another, and saying, We have piped unto you, and you have not danced, we have mourned to you, and you have not wept. 33 For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and you say, He has a demon. 34 The Son of Man has come eating and drinking, and you say, Behold a gluttonous man, and a winebibber, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. 35 But wisdom is justified by all her children. A woman anoints the feet of Jesus. 36 And one of the Pharisees asked him that he would eat with him. And he went into the Pharisee's house, and sat down to eat. 37 And, behold, a woman in the city, who was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat to eat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of ointment, 38 And stood at his feet behind him weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did wipe them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. 39 Now when the Pharisee who had bidden him saw it, he spoke within himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that touches him, for she is a sinner. The Parable of the Two Debtors 40 And Jesus answering said unto him, Simon, I have something to say unto you. And he said, Teacher, say on. 41 There was a certain creditor who had two debtors, the one owed five hundred pence, and the other fifty. 42 And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me therefore, which of them will love him most? 43 Simon answered and said, I suppose that he, to whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, You have rightly judged. 44 And he turned to the woman, and said unto Simon, See this woman. I entered into your house, you gave me no water for my feet, but she has washed my feet with tears, and wiped them with the hairs of her head. 45 You gave me no kiss, but this woman since the time I came in has not ceased to kiss my feet. 46 My head with oil you did not anoint, but this woman has anointed my feet with ointment. 47 Therefore I say unto you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. 48 And he said unto her, Your sins are forgiven. 49 And they that sat to eat with him began to say within themselves, Who is this that forgives sins also? 50 And he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you, go in peace. Chapter 8 Certain Women Minister to Christ 1 And it came to pass afterward, that he went throughout every city and village, preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God, and the twelve were with him, two uncertain women, who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom went seven demons, three and Joanna the wife of Chusa Herod's steward, and Susanna, and many others, who ministered unto him of their substance. Parable of the Soils 4 And when many people were gathered together, and were come to him out of every city, he spoke by a parable, five a sower went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. 6 And some fell upon a rock, and as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away, because it lacked moisture. 7 And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it, and choked it. 8 And other fell on good ground, and sprang up, and bore fruit a hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that has ears to hear, let him hear. 9 And his disciples asked him, saying, What might this parable be? 10 And he said, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to others in parables, that seeing they might not see, and hearing they might not understand. 11 Now the parable is thus, The seed is the word of God. 12 Those by the wayside are they that hear, then comes the devil, and takes away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. 13 Those on the rock are they, 
who, when they hear, receive the word with joy, and these have no root, who for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. 14 And that which fell among thorns are they, who, when they have heard, go forth, and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life, and bring no fruit to maturity. 15 But that on the good ground are they, who in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it, and bring forth fruit with patience. Parable of the Candle 16 No man, when he has lighted a lamp, covers it with a vessel, or puts it under a bed, but sets it on a lampstand, that they who enter in may see the light. 17 For nothing is secret, that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid, that shall not be known and come to light. 18 Take heed therefore how you hear, for whosoever has, to him shall be given, and whosoever has not, from him shall be taken even that which he seems to have. The True Brethren of Christ 19 Then came to him his mother and his brothers, and could not reach him for the crowd. 20 And it was told him by some who said, Your mother and your brothers stand outside, desiring to see you. 21 And he answered and said unto them, my mother and my brothers are these who hear the word of God, and do it. The sea is calmed. 22 Now it came to pass on a certain day, that he went into a ship with his disciples. And he said unto them, Let us go over to the other side of the lake. And they launched forth. 23 But as they sailed he fell asleep, and there came down a storm of wind on the lake, and they were filling up with water, and were in jeopardy. 24 And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Teacher, teacher, we perish. Then he arose, and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water, and they ceased, and there was a calm. 25 And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they being afraid wondered, saying one to another, What manner of man is this? For he commands even the winds and water, and they obey him. Demons are cast into swine. 26 And they arrived at the country of the Gadarenes, which is opposite Galilee. 27 And when he went forth to land, there met him out of the city a certain man, who had demons for a long time, and wore no clothes, neither abode in any house, but in the tombs. 28 When he saw Jesus, he cried out, and fell down before him, and with a loud voice said, What have I to do with you, Jesus, your Son of God Most High? I beseech you, torment me not. 29 For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For often it had seized him, and he was kept bound with chains and in fetters, and he broke the bonds, and was driven by the demon into the desert. 30 And Jesus asked him, saying, What is your name? And he said, Legion, because many demons were entered into him. 31 And they besought him that he would not command them to go out into the abyss. 32 And there was there a herd of many swine feeding on the mountain, and they besought him that he would allow them to enter into them. And he allowed them. 33 Then went the demons out of the man, and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the lake, and were drowned. 34 When they that fed them saw what was done, they fled, and went and told it in the city and in the country. 35 Then they went out to see what was done, and came to Jesus, and found the man, out of whom the demons were departed, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed, and in his right mind, and they were afraid. 36 They also who saw it told them by what means he that was possessed of the demons was healed. 37 Then the whole multitude of the country of the Gadarenes round about besought him to depart from them, for they were taken with great fear, and he went up into the ship, and returned. 38 Now the man out of whom the demons were departed besought him that he might be with him, but Jesus sent him away, saying, 39 Return to your own house, and show what great things God has done unto you. And he went his way, and proclaimed throughout the whole city what great things Jesus had done unto him. 40 And it came to pass, that, when Jesus was returned, the people gladly received him, for they were all waiting for him. A woman with issue is healed. 41 And, behold, there came a man named Jairus, and he was a ruler of the synagogue. And he fell down at Jesus' feet, and besought him that he would come into his house. 42 For he had one only daughter, about twelve years of age, and she lay dying. But as he went the people thronged him. 43 And a woman having an issue of blood twelve years, who had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, 
44 came behind him and touched the border of his garment and immediately her issue of blood ceased. 45 And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Teacher, the multitude throng you and press you, and you say, Who touched me? 46 And Jesus said, Somebody has touched me, for I perceive that power has gone out of me. 47 And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling, and falling down before him, she declared unto him before all the people why she had touched him, and how she was healed immediately. 48 And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort, your faith has made you whole, go in peace. Jar's daughter is raised. 49 While he yet spoke, there came one from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to him, Your daughter is dead, trouble not the teacher. 50 But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Fear not, only believe, and she shall be made whole. 51 And when he came into the house, he allowed no man to go in, except Peter, and James, and John, and the father and the mother of the girl. 52 And all wept, and mourned her, but he said, Weep not, she is not dead, but sleeps. 53 And they laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead. 54 And he put them all out, and took her by the hand, and called, saying, Child, arise. 55 And her spirit came again, and she arose immediately, and he commanded to give her food. 56 And her parents were astonished, but he charged them that they should tell no man what was done. Chapter 9 The Twelve Are Sent to Preach one then he called his twelve disciples together, and gave them power and authority over all demons, and to cure diseases. Two and he sent them to preach the kingdom of God, and to heal the sick. Three and he said unto them, Take nothing for your journey, neither staff, nor bag, neither bread, neither money, neither have two coats apiece. Four and whatsoever house you enter into, there abide, and from there depart. Five and whosoever will not receive you, when you go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. 6 And they departed, and went through the towns, preaching the gospel, and healing everywhere. 7 Now Herod the Tetrarch heard of all that was done by him, and he was perplexed, because it was said by some, that John was risen from the dead, 8 And of some, that Elijah had appeared, and of others, that one of the old prophets was risen again. 9 And Herod said, John have I beheaded, but who is this, of whom I hear such things? And he desired to see him. Ten and the apostles, when they were returned, told him all that they had done. And he took them, and went aside privately into a desert place belonging to the city called Bethsida. Eleven and the people, when they knew it, followed him, and he received them, and spoke unto them of the kingdom of God, and healed them that had need of healing. Jesus feeds five thousand. 12 And when the day began to wear away, then came the twelve, and said unto him, Send the multitude away, that they may go into the towns and country round about, and lodge, and get food, for we are here in a desert place. 13 But he said unto them, Give you them to eat. And they said, We have no more but five loaves and two fishes, unless we should go and buy food for all this people. 14 For they were about five thousand men. And he said to his disciples, Make them sit down by fifties in companies. Fifteen and they did so, and made them all sit down. Sixteen then he took the five loaves and the two fishes, and looking up to heaven, he blessed, and broke, and gave to the disciples to set before the multitude. Seventeen and they did eat, and were all filled, and there was taken up of fragments that remained to them twelve baskets. Peter's Confession of Christ 18 And it came to pass, as he was alone praying, his disciples were with him, and he asked them, saying, Whom say the people that I am? 19 They answering said, John the Baptist, but some say, Elijah, and others say, that one of the old prophets is risen again. 20 He said unto them, But whom say you that I am? Peter answering said, The Christ of God. 21 And he sternly charged them, and commanded them to tell no man that thing, 22 saying, the Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be slain, and be raised the third day. The Cost of Discipleship 23 And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross daily, and follow me. 
24 for whosoever will save his life shall lose it but whosoever will lose his life for my sake the same shall save it 25 for what is a man profited if he gain the whole world and lose himself or suffer loss 26 for whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words of him shall the son of man be ashamed when he shall come in his own glory and in his father's and of the holy angels the transfiguration 27 but i tell you a truth there be some standing here who shall not taste of death till they see the kingdom of god 28 and it came to pass about 8 days after these things he took peter and john and james and went up into a mountain to pray 29 and as he prayed the appearance of his countenance was altered and his clothing was white and glistening 30 and behold there talked with him two men who were moses and elijah 31 who appeared in glory and spoke of his death which he should accomplish at jerusalem 32 but peter and they that were with him were heavy with sleep and when they were awake they saw his glory and the two men that stood with him 33 and it came to pass as they departed from him peter said unto jesus teacher it is good for us to be here and let us make three tabernacles one for you and one for moses and one for elijah not knowing what he said 34 while he thus spoke there came a cloud and overshadowed them and they feared as they entered into the cloud 35 and there came a voice out of the cloud saying this is my beloved son hear him 36 and when the voice was past jesus was found alone and they kept it close and told no man in those days any of those things which they had seen a demoniac son is healed 37 and it came to pass that on the next day when they were come down from the mountain many people met him 38 and behold a man of the company cried out saying teacher i beseech you look upon my son for he is my only child 39 and lo a spirit takes him and he suddenly cries out and it convulses him so that he foams again and bruising him seldom departs from him 40 and i besought your disciples to cast him out and they could not 41 and jesus answering said o faithless and perverse generation how long shall i be with you and bear with you bring your son here 42 and as he was yet coming the demon threw him down and tore him and jesus rebuked the unclean spirit and healed the child and delivered him again to his father christ prophesies his coming death 43 and they were all amazed at the mighty power of god But while they wondered every one at all things which Jesus did he said unto his disciples 44 let these things sink down into your ears for the son of man shall be delivered into the hands of men 45 but they understood not this saying and it was hid from them that they perceived it not and they feared to ask him about that saying discourse on greatness 46 then there arose a reasoning among them as to which of them should be greatest 47 and Jesus perceiving the thought of their heart took a child and set him beside him 48 and said unto them whosoever shall receive this child in my name receives me and whosoever shall receive me receives him that sent me for he that is least among you all the same shall be great 49 and John answered and said teacher we saw one casting out demons in your name and we forbade him because he follows not with us 50 and Jesus said unto him forbid him not for he that is not against us is for us christ is rejected in samaria 51 and it came to pass when the time was come that he should be received up he steadfastly set his face to go to jerusalem 52 and sent messengers before his face and they went and entered into a village of the samaritans to make ready for him 53 and they did not receive him because his face was as though he would go to jerusalem 54 and when his disciples James and John saw this they said Lord will you that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them even as Elijah did 55 but he turned and rebuked them and said you know not what manner of spirit you are of 56 for the son of man is not come to destroy men's lives but to save them and they went to another village true cost of discipleship 57 and it came to pass that as they went in the way a certain man said unto him lord i will follow you wherever you go 58 and jesus said unto him 
foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. 59 And he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, allow me first to go and bury my father. 60 Jesus said unto him, Let the dead bury their dead, but you go and preach the kingdom of God. 61 And another also said, Lord, I will follow you, but let me first go bid them farewell, who are at home at my house. 62 And Jesus said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plough, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. Chapter 10, Service of the Seventy One after these things the Lord appointed seventy others also, and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place, where he himself would come. Two therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the labourers are few, pray you therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth labourers into his harvest. Three go your ways, behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. 4. Carry neither purse, nor bag, nor shoes, and greet no man by the way. 5. And into whatsoever house you enter, first say, Peace be to this house. 6. And if the Son of Peace be there, your peace shall rest upon it, if not, it shall turn to you again. 7. And in the same house remain, eating and drinking such things as they give, for the laborer is worthy of his hire. Go not from house to house. 8. And into whatsoever city you enter, and they receive you, eat such things as are set before you. 9. And heal the sick that are therein, and say unto them, The kingdom of God is come near unto you. 10. But into whatsoever city you enter, and they receive you not, go your ways out into the streets of the same, and say, 11. Even the very dust of your city, which cleaves on us, we do wipe off against you. Nevertheless be sure of this, that the kingdom of God has come near unto you. 12. But I say unto you, that it shall be more tolerable in that day for Sodom, than for that city. 13. Woe unto you, Chorazin. Woe unto you, Bethsida. For if the mighty works had been done in Tyre and Sidon, which have been done in you, they would have a great while ago repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. 14. But it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment, than for you. 15. And you, Capernaum, which are exalted to heaven, shall be thrust down to Hades. 16. He that hears you hears me, and he that despises you despises me, and he that despises me despises him that sent me. Return of the Seventy. 17. And the Seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject unto us through your name. 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. 20. Nevertheless in this rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice, because your names are written in heaven. 21. In that hour Jesus rejoiced in spirit, and said, I thank you, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hid these things from the wise and prudent, and have revealed them unto babes, even so, Father, for so it seemed good in your sight. 22 All things are delivered to me by my Father, and no man knows who the Son is, but the Father, and who the Father is, but the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal him. 23 And he turned to his disciples, and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things that you see. 24 For I tell you, that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which you see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which you hear, and have not heard them. How to Inherit Eternal Life 25 And, behold, a certain lawyer stood up, and tested him, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? 26 He said unto him, What is written in the law? How read you? 27 And he answering said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbour as yourself. 28 And he said unto him, You have answered right, thus do, and you shall live. Parable of the Good Samaritan 29 But he, willing to justify himself, said unto Jesus, And who is my neighbour? 30 And Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell among thieves, who stripped him of his clothing, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. 31 And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, 
and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. 32 And likewise a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him, and passed by on the other side. 33 But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him. 34 And went to him, and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. 35 And on the next day when he departed, he took out two pence, and gave them to the innkeeper, and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever you spend more, when I come again, I will repay you. 36 Which now of these three, think you, was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? 37 And he said, He that showed mercy on him. Then said Jesus unto him, Go, and do you likewise. Christ is received by Mary and Martha. 38 Now it came to pass, as they went, that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. 39 And she had a sister called Mary, who also sat at Jesus' feet, and heard his word. 40 But Martha was cumbered about with much serving, and came to him, and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Bid her therefore that she help me. 41 And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, 42 But one thing is needful, and Mary has chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. Chapter 11 The Lord's Prayer 1 And it came to pass, that, as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. 2 And he said unto them, When you pray, say, our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done, as in heaven, so on earth. 3. Give us day by day our daily bread. 4. And forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Parable of the Impetune Friend 5. And he said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend, and shall go unto him at midnight? and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves, six for a friend of mine in his journey has come to me, and I have nothing to set before him. Seven and he from within shall answer and say, Trouble me not, the door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed, I cannot rise and give you. Eight I say unto you, though he will not rise and give to him, because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity he will rise and give him as many as he needs. 9 And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you, seek, and you shall find, knock, and it shall be opened unto you. 10 For every one that asks receives, and he that seeks finds, and to him that knocks it shall be opened. Parable of the Good Father 11 If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? 12 Or if he shall ask an egg, Will he offer him a scorpion? 13. If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Christ heals the demoniac. 14. And he was casting out a demon, and it was dumb. And it came to pass, when the demon was gone out, the dumb man spoke, and the people wondered. The Power of Christ. 15. But some of them said, he casts out demons through Beelzebub the chief of the demons. 16 And others, testing him, sought of him a sign from heaven. 17 But he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falls. 18 If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because you say that I cast out demons through Beelzebub. 19 And if I by Beelzebub cast out demons, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore shall they be your judges. 20 But if I with the finger of God cast out demons, no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. 21 When a strong man armed keeps his palace, his goods are in peace. 22 But when he is stronger than he shall come upon him, and overcome him, he takes from him all his armor in which he trusted, and divides his spoils. 23 He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathers not with me scatters. 24 When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, 
He walks through dry places, seeking rest, and finding none, he says, I will return unto my house from which I came out. 25 And when he comes, he finds it swept and in order. 26 Then he goes, and takes with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in, and dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse than the first. 27 And it came to pass, as he spoke these things, a certain woman of the crowd lifted up her voice, and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bore you, and the breasts which you have nursed. 28 But he said, Yea rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God, and keep it. The Sign of Jonas 29 And when the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, This is an evil generation, they seek a sign, and there shall no sign be given it, but the sign of Jonah the prophet. 30 For as Jonah was a sign unto the Ninevites, so shall also the Son of Man be to this generation. 31 The Queen of the South shall rise up in the judgment with the men of this generation, and condemn them, for she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And, behold, a greater than Solomon is here. 32 The men of Nineveh shall rise up in the judgment with this generation, and shall condemn it, for they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and, behold, a greater than Jonah is here. Parable of the Lighted Candle 33 No man, when he has lighted a lamp, puts it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a lampstand, that they who come in may see the light. 34 The lamp of the body is the eye, therefore when your eye is sound, your whole body also is full of light, but when your eye is evil, your body also is full of darkness. 35 Take heed therefore that the light which is in you be not darkness. 36 If your whole body therefore be full of light, having no part dark, the whole shall be full of light, as when the bright shining of a lamp does give your light. Woe to the Pharisees! 37 And as he spoke, a certain Pharisee besought him to dine with him, and he went in, and sat down to eat. 38 And when the Pharisee saw it, he marveled that he had not first washed before dinner. 39 And the Lord said unto him, Now do your Pharisees make clean the outside of the cup and the platter, but your inward part is full of extortion and wickedness. 40 Your fools, did not he that made that which is outside make that which is within also. 41 But rather give alms of such things as you have, and, behold, all things are clean unto you. 42 But woe unto you, Pharisees! For your tithe mint and rue and all manner of herbs, and pass over justice and the love of God, these ought you to have done, and not to leave the other undone. 43 Woe unto you, Pharisees! For you love the best seats in the synagogues, and greetings in the markets. 44 Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you are as graves which are not seen, and the men that walk over them are not aware of them. Woe to the lawyers! 45 Then answered one of the lawyers, and said unto him, Teacher, thus saying you reproach us also. 46 And he said, Woe unto you also, your lawyers. For your load men with burdens hard to be borne, and you yourselves touch not the burdens with one of your fingers. 47 Woe unto you. For you build the sepulchres of the prophets, and your fathers killed them. 48 Truly you bear witness that you consent to the deeds of your fathers, for they indeed killed them, and you build their sepulchres. 49 Therefore also said the wisdom of God, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall slay and persecute. 50 That the blood of all the prophets, which was shed from the foundation of the world, may be required of this generation. 51 From the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zechariah, who perished between the altar and the temple, verily I say unto you, it shall be required of this generation. 52 Woe unto you, lawyers! For you have taken away the key of knowledge, you entered not in yourselves, and them that were entering in you hindered. 53 And as he said these things unto them, the scribes and the Pharisees began to oppose him vehemently, and to provoke him to speak of many things, 54 Lying in wait for him, and seeking to catch something from his mouth, that they might accuse him. Chapter 12 Christ warns about hypocrisy. 1. In the meantime, when there were gathered together an innumerable multitude of people, so much that they tread one upon another, he began to say unto his disciples first of all, Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. 2. For there is nothing covered, that shall not be revealed, neither hid, 
that shall not be known. 3. Therefore whatsoever you have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which you have spoken in the air in private rooms shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. 4. And I say unto you my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. 5. But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear, fear him, who after he has killed has power to cast into hell, yea, I say unto you, fear him. 6. Are not five sparrows sold for two farthings, and not one of them is forgotten before God? 7. But even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. 8. Also I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God. 9. But he that denies me before men shall be denied before the angels of God. 10. And whosoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him, but unto him that blasphemes against the Holy Spirit it shall not be forgiven. 11. And when they bring you unto the synagogues, and unto magistrates, and powers, take your no thought how or what thing you shall answer, or what you shall say, 12. For the Holy Spirit shall teach you in the same hour what you ought to say. Parable of the Rich Fool 13. And one of the crowd said unto him, Teacher, speak to my brother, that he divide the inheritance with me. 14. And he said unto him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? 15. And he said unto them, Take heed, and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consists not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. 16. And he spoke a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. 17. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have no room to store my crops? 18. And he said, This will I do, I will pull down my barns, and build greater, and there will I store all my crops and my goods. 19. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have many goods laid up for many years, take your ease, eat, drink, and be merry. 20. But God said unto him, You fool, this night your soul shall be required of you, then whose shall those things be, which you have prepared? 21. So is he that lays up treasure for himself, and is not rich toward God. Seek ye the kingdom of God. 22. And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, neither for the body, what you shall put on. 23. The life is more than food and the body is more than clothing. 24. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God feeds them, how much more are you better than the fowls? 25. And which of you with taking thought can add to his stature one cubit? 26. If you then be not able to do that thing which is least, why are you anxious concerning the rest? 27. Consider the lilies how they grow, they toil not, they spin not, and yet I say unto you, that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. 28. If then God so clothes the grass, which is today in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? 29. And seek you not what you shall eat, or what you shall drink, neither be of anxious mind. 30. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after and your Father knows that you have need of these things. 31. But rather seek you the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. 32. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. 33. Sell what you have, and give alms, provide yourselves purses which grow not old, a treasure in the heavens that fails not, where no thief approaches, neither moth corrupts. 34. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Parable of the Expectant Servants 35. Let your waists be girded about, and your lambs burning. 36. And you yourselves be like unto men that wait for their Lord, when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they may open unto him immediately. 37. Blessed are those servants, whom the Lord when he comes shall find watching, verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself, and make them to sit down to eat, and will come forth and serve them. 38. And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. 39. And this know, that if the owner of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched, and not have allowed his house to be broken through. 40. Be you therefore ready also, 
for the Son of Man comes at an hour when you think not. Parable of the Faithful Steward 41 Then Peter said unto him, Lord, speak you this parable unto us, or even to all. 42 And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward, whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household, to give them their portion of food at the proper time? 43 Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord when he comes shall find so doing. 44 Of a truth I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he has. 45 But if that servant says in his heart, My Lord delays his coming, and shall begin to beat the men servants and maid servants, and to eat and drink, and to be drunk, 46 The Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looks not for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in pieces, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. 47 And that servant, who knew his Lord's will, and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. 48 But he that knew not, and did commit things worthy of stripes, shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomever much is given, of him shall be much required, and to whom men have committed much, of him they will ask the more. Christ warns of the costs of discipleship. 49 I am come to send fire on the earth, and would that it were already kindled. 50 But I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how am I constrained till it be accomplished? 51 Suppose you that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you, nay, but rather division, 52 For from now on there shall be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. 53 The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Christ warns of not discerning the time. 54 And he said also to the people, when you see a cloud rise out of the west, immediately you say, there comes a shower, and so it is. 55 And when you see the south wind blow, you say, there will be heat, and it comes to pass. 56 You hypocrites, you can discern the appearance of the sky and of the earth, but how is it that you do not discern this time? 57 Yea, and why even of yourselves judge you not what is right? 58 When you go with your adversary to the magistrate, as you are in the way, give diligence that you may settle with him, lest he drag you to the judge, and the judge deliver you to the officer, and the officer cast you into prison. 59 I tell you, you shall not depart from there, till you have paid the very last penny. Chapter 13 Christ Teaches on Repentance 1 There were present at that time some that told him of the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. 2 And Jesus answering said unto them, Suppose you that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans, because they suffered such things. 3 I tell you, Nay, but, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. 4 Or those eighteen, upon whom the tower in Siloam fell, and killed them, think you that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem. 5 I tell you, Nay, but, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. 6 He spoke also this parable, A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came and sought fruit thereon, and found none. 7 Then said he unto the winedresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I have come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and find none, cut it down, why cumbers it the ground? 8 And he answering said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it, and fertilize it, nine and if it bears fruit, well, and if not, then after that you shall cut it down. Christ heals the woman with the infirmity. Ten and he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. Eleven and, behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity eighteen years, and was bowed together, and could in no way lift herself up. Twelve and when Jesus saw her, he called her to him, and said unto her, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. 13 And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight, and glorified God. 14 And the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation, because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day, and said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to work, in them therefore come and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. 15 The Lord then answered him, and said, You hypocrite, does not each one of you on the Sabbath lose his ox or his donkey from the stall, 
and lead him away to watering. 16 And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound, lo, these eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? 17 And when he had said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed, and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. Parable of the Mustard Seed 18 Then said he, Unto what is the kingdom of God like? Unto what shall I compare it? 19 It is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took, and cast into his garden, and it grew, and became a great tree, and the fowls of the air lodged in the branches of it. Parable of the Leaven 20 And again he said, To what shall I liken the kingdom of God? 21 It is like leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, till the whole was leavened. The way to enter the kingdom 22 And he went through the cities and villages, teaching, and journeying toward Jerusalem. 23 Then said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Twenty-four strive to enter in at the narrow gate, for many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in, and shall not be able. 25 When once the master of the house is risen up, and has shut the door, and you begin to stand outside, and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. And he shall answer and say unto you, I know not where you come from. 26 Then shall you begin to say, We have eaten and drunk in your presence, and you have taught in our streets. 27 But he shall say, I tell you, I know not where you come from, depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. 28 There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, when you shall see Abraham, and Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets, in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves thrust out. 29 And they shall come from the east, and from the west, and from the north, and from the south, and shall sit down in the kingdom of God. 30 And, behold, some are last who shall be first, and some are first who shall be last. Christ mourns over Jerusalem. 31 The same day there came certain of the Pharisees, saying unto him, Get out, and depart from here, for Herod will kill you. 32 And he said unto them, Go, and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons, and I perform cures today and tomorrow, and the third day I shall be finished. 33 Nevertheless I must walk today, and tomorrow, and the day following, for it cannot be that a prophet perish outside of Jerusalem. 34 O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which kills the prophets, and stones them that are sent unto you, how often would I have gathered your children together, as a hen does gather her brood under her wings, and you would not. 35 Behold, your house is left unto you desolate, and verily I say unto you, you shall not see me, until the time comes when you shall say, Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Chapter 14 Teachings on the Sabbath 1 And it came to pass, as he went into the house of one of the chief Pharisees to eat on the Sabbath day, that they watched him. 2 And, behold, there was a certain man before him who had dropsy. 3 And Jesus answering spoke unto the lawyers and Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day? 4 And they held their peace. And he took him, and healed him, and let him go. 5 And answered them, saying, which of you shall have a donkey or an ox fallen into a pit, and will not immediately pull him out on the Sabbath day? 6 And they could not answer him again about these things. Parable of the Exalted Guest 7 And he put forth a parable to those who were bidden, when he marked how they chose out the chief places, saying unto them, 8 When you are bidden of any man to a wedding, sit not down in the highest place, lest a more honourable man than you be bidden of him, nine and he that bury you in him come and say to you, Give this man your place, and you begin with shame to take the lowest place. Ten but when you are bidden, go and sit down in the lowest place, that when he that bury you come, he may say unto you, Friend, go up higher, then shall you have honour in the presence of them that sit at table with you. Eleven for whosoever exalts himself shall be abased, and he that humbles himself shall be exalted. 12 Then said he also to him that bury him, When you give a dinner or a supper, call not your friends, nor your brethren, neither your kinsmen, nor your rich neighbours, lest they also bid you again, and a recompense be made you. 13 But when you give a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind. 14 And you shall be blessed, for they cannot recompense you, for you shall be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. 
Parable of the Great Supper 15 And when one of them that sat at table with him heard these things, he said unto him, Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. 16 Then said he unto him, A certain man gave a great supper, and bury many, 17 And sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. 18 And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must go and see it, I pray you have me excused. 19 And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to examine them, I pray you have me excused. 20 And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. 21 So that servant came, and showed his lord these things. Then the master of the house being angry said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in here the poor, and the maimed, and the lame, and the blind. 22 And the servant said, Lord, it is done as you have commanded, and yet there is room. 23 And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. 24 For I say unto you, that none of those men who were bidden shall taste of my supper. Christ teaches on discipleship. 25 And there went great multitudes with him, and he turned, and said unto them, 26 If any man come to me, and hate not his father, and mother, and wife, and children, and brothers, and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. 27 And whosoever does not bear his cross, and come after me, cannot be my disciple. 28 For which of you, intending to build a tower, sits not down first, and counts the cost, whether he has enough to finish it. 29 Lest perhaps, after he has laid the foundation, and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him. 30 Saying, This man began to build, and was not able to finish. 31 Or what king, going to make war against another king, sits not down first, and consults whether he is able with 10,000 to meet him that comes against him with 20,000. 32 Or else, while the other is yet a great way off, he sends a delegation, and desires conditions of peace. 33 So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsakes not all that he has, he cannot be my disciple. 34 Salt is good, but if the salt has lost its taste, how shall it be restored? 35 It is neither fit for the land, nor yet for the dunghill, but men cast it out. He that has ears to hear, let him hear. Chapter 15, Parable of the Lost Sheep One then drew near unto him all the tax collectors and sinners to hear him. Two and the Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. Three and he spoke this parable unto them, saying, For what man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he loses one of them, does not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost, until he finds it? 5 And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. 6 And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. 7 I say unto you, that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repents, more than over ninety and nine just persons, who need no repentance. Parable of the Lost Piece of Silver 8 Of what woman having ten pieces of silver, if she loses one piece, does not light a lamp, and sweep the house, and seek diligently till she finds it. 9 And when she has found it, she calls her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. 10 Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repents. Parable of the Lost Son 11 And he said, A certain man had two sons, Twelve and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falls to me. And he divided unto them his living. Thirteen and not many days later the younger son gathered everything together, and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. Fourteen and when he had spent everything, there arose a great famine in that land, and he began to be in want. Fifteen and he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. 16 And he would gladly have filled his belly with the husks that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. 
17 And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger. 18 I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven, and before you, 19 And am no more worthy to be called your son. Make me as one of your hired servants. 20 And he arose, and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him, and had compassion, and ran, and fell on his neck, and kissed him. 21 And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven, and in your sight, and am no more worthy to be called your son. 22 But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe, and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and sandals on his feet. 23 And bring here the fatted calf, and kill it, and let us eat and be merry, twenty-four for thus my son was dead, and is alive again, he was lost, and is found. And they began to be merry. Twenty-five now his elder son was in the field, and as he came and drew near to the house, he heard music and dancing. Twenty-six and he called one of the servants, and asked what these things meant. Twenty-seven and he said unto him, Your brother has come, and your father has killed the fatted calf, because he has received him safe and sound. 28 And he was angry, and would not go in, therefore his father came out, and entreated him. 29 And he answering said to his father, Lo, these many years have I served you, neither transgressed I at any time your commandment, and yet you never gave me a kid, that I might make merry with my friends. 30 But as soon as this your son came, who has devoured your living with harlots, you have killed for him the fatted calf. 31 And he said unto him, Son, you are ever with me, and all that I have is yours. 32 It was right that we should make merry, and be glad, for this your brother was dead, and is alive again, and was lost, and is found. Chapter 16 Parable of the Unjust Servant 1 And he said also unto his disciples, There was a certain rich man, who had a steward, and the same was accused unto him that he had wasted his goods. 2 And he called him, and said unto him, how is it that I hear this of you? Give an account of your stewardship, for you may be no longer steward. 3. Then the steward said within himself, What shall I do? For my Lord takes away from me the stewardship, I cannot dig to beg I am ashamed. 4. I have decided what to do, that, when I am put out of the stewardship, they may receive me into their houses. 5. So he called every one of his lord's debtors unto him, and said unto the first, how much are you unto my Lord? 6 And he said, A hundred measures of oil. And he said unto him, Take your bill, and sit down quickly, and write fifty. 7 Then said he to another, And how much owe you? And he said, A hundred measures of wheat. And he said unto him, Take your bill, and write fourscore. 8 And the Lord commended the unjust steward, because he had done wisely. For the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. 9 And I say unto you, Make to yourselves friends by means of the mammon of unrighteousness, that, when it fails, they may receive you into everlasting habitations. 10 He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much, and he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. 11 If therefore you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to your trust the true riches? 12 And if you have not been faithful in that which is another man's, who shall give you that which is your own. 13. No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one, and love the other, or else he will hold to the one, and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Christ warns the Pharisees. 14. And the Pharisees also, who were covetous, heard all these things, and they derided him. 15. And he said unto them, You are they who justify yourselves before men, but God knows your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. 16. The law and the prophets were until John, since that time the kingdom of God is preached, and every man presses into it. 17. And it is easier for heaven and earth to pass, than one dot of the law to fail. Christ teaches on divorce. 18. Whosoever puts away his wife, and marries another, commits adultery, and whosoever marries her that is put away from her husband commits adultery. Parable of the Rich Man and Lazarus 19 There was a certain rich man, who was clothed in purple and fine linen, 
and feasted sumptuously every day. 20 And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, who was laid at his gate, full of sores. 21 And desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table, moreover the dogs came and licked his sores. 22 And it came to pass, that the beggar died, and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died, and was buried. 23 And in Hades he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seeing Abraham far off, and Lazarus in his bosom. 24 And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. 25 But Abraham said, Son, remember that you in your lifetime received your good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things, but now he is comforted, and you are tormented. 26 And besides all this, between us and you there is a great gulf fixed, so that they who would pass from here to you cannot, neither can they pass to us, that would come from there. 27 Then he said, I pray you therefore, Father, that you would send him to my father's house. 28 For I have five brothers, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. 29 Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. 30 And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. 31 And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Chapter 17 Christ teaches about stumbling blocks. One then said he unto the disciples, It is impossible but that temptations to sin will come, but woe unto him, through whom they come. Two, it would be better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and he was cast into the sea, than that he should cause one of these little ones to stumble. 3. Take heed to yourselves, if your brother trespasses against you, rebuke him, and if he repents, forgive him. 4. And if he trespasses against you seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turns again to you, saying, I repent, you shall forgive him. 5. And the apostles said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. 6. And the Lord said, If you had faith as a grain of mustard seed, you could say unto the cycamine tree, Be plucked up by the root, and be planted in the sea, and it would obey you. 7. But which of you, having a servant ploughing or feeding cattle, will say unto him by and by, when he is come from the field, Go and sit down to eat? 8. And will not rather say unto him, Make ready that I may eat, and gird yourself, and serve me, till I have eaten and drunken, and afterward you shall eat and drink. 9. Does he thank that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I think not. Then so likewise you, when you shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, We are unprofitable servants, we have done that which was our duty to do. Christ cleanses ten lepers. 11 And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. 12 And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, who stood afar off. 13 And they lifted up their voices, and said, Jesus, teacher, have mercy on us. 14 And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass, that, as they went, they were cleansed. 15 And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, and with a loud voice glorified God, 16 And fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. 17 And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? 18 There was not found one that returned to give glory to God, except this stranger. 19 And he said unto him, Arise, go your way, your faith has made you whole. Christ teaches on the second coming. 20 And when he was demanded by the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God comes not with outward observation. 21 Neither shall they say, Lo here. Or, Lo there. For, behold, the kingdom of God is in the midst of you. 22 And he said unto the disciples, The days will come, when you shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and you shall not see it. 23 And they shall say to you, See here, or, see there, go not after them, nor follow them. 24 For as the lightning, that flashing out of the one part under heaven, shines unto the other part under heaven, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. 
25 But first must he suffer many things, and be rejected of this generation. 26 And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. 27 They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came, and destroyed them all. 28 Likewise also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built. 29 But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom it rained fire and brimstone from heaven, and destroyed them all. 30 Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. 31 In that day, he who shall be upon the housetop, and his goods in the house, let him not come down to take it away, and he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. 32 Remember Lot's wife. 33 Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. 34 I tell you, in that night there shall be two men in one bed, the one shall be taken, and the other shall be left. 35 Two women shall be grinding together, the one shall be taken, and the other left. 36 Two men shall be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. 37 And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wherever the body is, there will the vultures be gathered together. Chapter 18 Parable of the Woman and the Judge 1 And he spoke a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray, and not to faint, to saying, there was in a city a judge, who feared not God, neither regarded man. 3 And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of my adversary. 4 And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man. 5 Yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she wearies me. 6 And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said. 7 And shall not God avenge his own elect, who cry day and night unto him, though he bears long with them? 8 I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless when the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith on the earth? Parable of the Pharisee and the Publican 9 And he spoke this parable unto certain who trusted in themselves that they were righteous, and despised others. 10 Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee, and the other a tax collector. 11 The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank you, that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this tax collector. 12 I fast twice in the week, I give tithes of all that I possess. 13 And the tax collector, standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God be merciful to me a sinner. 14 I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for everyone that exalts himself shall be abased, and he that humbles himself shall be exalted. Christ blesses the children. 15 And they brought unto him also infants, that he would touch them, but when his disciples saw it, they rebuked them. 16 But Jesus called them unto him, and said, Allow little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of God. 17 Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall in no wise enter therein. The Rich Young Ruler 18 And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? 19 And Jesus said unto him, Why call me good? None is good, except one, that is, God. 20 You know the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor your father and your mother. 21 And he said, All these have I kept from my youth up. 22 Now when Jesus heard these things, he said unto him, Yet you lack one thing, sell all that you have, and distribute unto the poor, and you shall have treasure in heaven, and come, follow me. 23 And when he heard this, he was very sorrowful, for he was very rich. 24 And when Jesus saw that he was very sorrowful, he said, How hard it is for those that have riches to enter into the kingdom of God. 25 For it is easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye, than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. 26 And they that heard it said, Who then can be saved? 27 And he said, The things which are impossible with men are possible with God.
Christ will reward sacrifice. 28 Then Peter said, Lo, we have left all, and followed you. 29 And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that has left house, or parents, or brethren, or wife, or children, for the kingdom of God's sake, thirty who shall not receive many times more in this present time, and in the world to come life everlasting. Christ foretells his death and resurrection. 31 Then he took unto him the twelve, and said unto them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and all things that are written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man shall be accomplished. 32 For he shall be delivered unto the Gentiles, and shall be mocked, and spitefully treated, and spit on. 33 And they shall scourge him, and put him to death, and the third day he shall rise again. 34 And they understood none of these things, and this saying was hid from them, neither knew they the things which were spoken. Christ heals Bartimaeus. 35 And it came to pass, that as he came near unto Jericho, a certain blind man sat by the wayside begging. 36 And hearing the multitude pass by, he asked what it meant. 37 And they told him, that Jesus of Nazareth passed by. 38 And he cried, saying, Jesus, your son of David, have mercy on me. 39 And they who went before rebuked him, that he should hold his peace, but he cried so much the more, Your son of David, have mercy on me. 40 And Jesus stood, and commanded him to be brought unto him, and when he came near, he asked him, 41 Saying, What will you that I shall do unto you? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. 42 And Jesus said unto him, Receive your sight, your faith has saved you. 43 And immediately he received his sight, and followed him, glorifying God, and all the people, when they saw it, gave praise unto God. Chapter 19 Christ abides with Zacchaeus. 1 And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. 2 And, behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was the chief among the tax collectors, and he was rich. 3 And he sought to see who Jesus was, and could not for the crowd, because he was little of stature. 4 And he ran on ahead, and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. 5 And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up, and saw him, and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste, and come down, for today I must abide at your house. 6 And he made haste, and came down, and received him joyfully. 7 And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying, that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. 8 And Zacchaeus stood, and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. 9 And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house, since he also is a son of Abraham. 10 For the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was lost. Parable of the Ten Pounds 11 And as they heard these things, he proceeded to tell a parable, because he was near to Jerusalem, and because they thought that the kingdom of God should immediately appear. 12 He said therefore, A certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom, and to return. 13 And he called his ten servants, and delivered to them ten pounds, and said unto them, Occupy till I come. 14 But his citizens hated him, and sent a message after him, saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. 15 And it came to pass, that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. 16 Then came the first, saying, Lord, your pound has gained ten pounds. 17 And he said unto him, Well done, good servant, because you have been faithful in a very little, have authority over ten cities. 18 And the second came, saying, Lord, your pound has gained five pounds. 19 And he said likewise to him, Be also over five cities. 20 And another came, saying, Lord, behold, here is your pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin, 21 For I feared you, because you are a severe man, you take up what you laid not down, and reap what you did not sow. 22 And he said unto him, Out of your own mouth will I judge you, you wicked servant. You knew that I was a severe man, taking up what I laid not down, and reaping what I did not sow. 23 Why then gave not you my money into the bank, 
that at my coming I might have required my own with interest. 24 And he said unto them that stood by, Take from him the pound, and give it to him that has ten pounds. 25 And they said unto him, Lord, he has ten pounds. 26 For I say unto you, that unto every one who has shall be given, and from him that has not, even what he has shall be taken away from him. 27 But those my enemies, who would not that I should reign over them, bring here, and slay them before me. The Triumphal Entry 28 And when he had thus spoken, he went ahead, ascending up to Jerusalem. 29 And it came to pass, when he came near to Bethphage and Bethany, at the mount called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, thirty, saying, Go into the village opposite you, in which at your entering you shall find a colt tied, on which yet never man sat, lose him, and bring him here. 31 And if any man asks you, Why do you lose him? Thus shall you say unto him, Because the Lord has need of him. 32 And they that were sent went their way, and found it even as he had said unto them. 33 And as they were losing the colt, the owners thereof said unto them, Why lose you the colt? 34 And they said, The Lord has need of him. 35 And they brought him to Jesus, and they cast their garments upon the colt, and they set Jesus thereon. 36 And as he went, they spread their clothes in the way. 37 And when he came near, even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen. 38 Saying, Blessed be the King that comes in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven, and glory in the highest. 39 And some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. 40 And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that, if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. 41 And when he came near, he beheld the city, and wept over it, 42 Saying, If you had known, even you, at least in this your day, the things which belong unto your peace. But now they are hid from your eyes. 43 For the days shall come upon you, that your enemies shall cast a bank about you, and surround you, and hem you in on every side, 44 And shall lay you even with the ground, and your children within you, and they shall not leave in you one stone upon another because you knew not the time of your visitation. Cleansing of the Temple 45 And he went into the temple, and began to cast out them that sold therein, and them that bought, 46 saying unto them, It is written, My house is the house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. 47 And he taught daily in the temple. But the chief priests and the scribes and the chief men of the people sought to destroy him, 48 And could not find what they might do, for all the people were very attentive to hear him. Chapter 20 Religious Leaders Question Christ's Authority 1 And it came to pass, that on one of those days, as he taught the people in the temple, and preached the gospel, the chief priests and the scribes came upon him with the elders, to and spoke unto him, saying, Tell us, by what authority do you these things? Or who is he that gave you this authority? 3 And he answered and said unto them, I will also ask you one thing, and answer me, for the baptism of John, was it from heaven, or of men? 5 And they reasoned among themselves, saying, If we shall say, from heaven, he will say, Why then did you not believe him? 6 But if we say, of men, all the people will stone us, for they are persuaded that John was a prophet. 7 And they answered, that they could not tell from where it was. 8 And Jesus said unto them, Neither do I tell you by what authority I do these things. Parable of the Lord of the Vineyard 9 Then began he to speak to the people this parable, A certain man planted a vineyard, and let it out to tenants, and went into a far country for a long time. 10 And at the harvest season he sent a servant to the tenants, that they should give him of the fruit of the vineyard. But the tenants beat him, and sent him away empty. 11 And again he sent another servant, and they beat him also, and treated him shamefully, and sent him away empty. 12 And again he sent a third, and they wounded him also, and cast him out. 13 Then said the Lord of the vineyard, What shall I do? I will send my beloved son, it may be they will respect him when they see him. 14 But when the tenants saw him, they reasoned among themselves, saying, This is the heir, come, let us kill him that the inheritance may be ours. 
15 so they cast him out of the vineyard and killed him what therefore shall the lord of the vineyard do unto them 16 he shall come and destroy these tenants and shall give the vineyard to others and when they heard it they said god forbid 17 and he beheld them and said what is this then that is written the stone which the builders rejected the same is become the head of the corner 18 whosoever shall fall upon that stone shall be broken but on whomsoever it shall fall it will grind him to powder Herodians question the tribute money. 19 And the chief priests and the scribes the same hour sought to lay hands on him, and they feared the people, for they perceived that he had spoken this parable against them. 20 And they watched him, and sent forth spies, who should pretend themselves just men, that they might take hold of his words, that so they might deliver him unto the power and authority of the governor. 21 And they asked him, saying, Teacher, we know that you say and teach rightly, neither do you regard any person, but teach the way of God truly. 22. Is it lawful for us to give tribute unto Caesar, or not? 23. But he perceived their craftiness, and said unto them, Why do you test me? 24. Show me a penny. Whose image and superscription has it? They answered and said, Caesar's. 25. And he said unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things which are God's. 26 And they could not take hold of his words before the people, and they marveled at his answer, and held their peace. Sadducees question the resurrection. 27 Then came to him certain of the Sadducees, who deny that there is any resurrection, and they asked him, 28 Saying, Teacher, Moses wrote unto us, If any man's brother dies, having a wife, and he dies without children, that his brother should take his wife, and raise up children for his brother. 29 There were therefore seven brothers, and the first took a wife, and died without children. 30 And the second took her as wife, and he died childless. 31 And the third took her, and in like manner the seven also, and they left no children, and died. 32 Last of all the woman died also. 33 Therefore in the resurrection whose wife of them is she? For seven had her as wife. 34 And Jesus answering said unto them, The children of this world marry, and are given in marriage. 35 But they who shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world, and the resurrection from the dead, neither marry, nor are given in marriage. 36 Neither can they die any more, for they are equal unto the angels, and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. 37 Now that the dead are raised, even Moses showed at the bush, when he called the Lord the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. 38 For he is not a God of the dead, but of the living, for all live unto him. Christ questions the scribes. 39 Then certain of the scribes answering said, Teacher, you have well said. 40 And after that they dared not ask him any question at all. 41 And he said unto them, How say they that Christ is David's son? 42 And David himself said in the book of Psalms, the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit on my right hand, 43 till I make your enemies your footstool. 44 David therefore called him Lord, how is he then his son? 45 Then in the hearing of all the people he said unto his disciples, 46 Beware of the scribes, who desire to walk in long robes, and love greetings in the markets, and the highest seats in the synagogues, and the chief places at feasts, 47 Who devour widows' houses, and for a show make long prayers, the same shall receive greater condemnation. Chapter 21 The Widow's Might 1 And he looked up, and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury. 2 And he saw also a certain poor widow casting in their two mites. 3 And he said, Of a truth I say unto you, that this poor widow has cast in more than they all. 4 For all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offerings of God, but she of her poverty has cast in all the living that she had. Two questions of the disciples. 5 And as some spoke of the temple, how it was adorned with beautiful stones and gifts, he said, 6 As for these things which you behold, the days will come, in which there shall not be left one stone upon another, that shall not be thrown down. 7 And they asked him, saying, Teacher, but when shall these things be? And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? Signs of the coming of Christ. 8 And he said, Take heed that you be not deceived, 
for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and the time draws near, go not therefore after them. 9 But when you shall hear of wars and tumults, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet. 10 Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, eleven and great earthquakes shall be in various places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. 12 But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you, and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues, and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. 13 And it shall turn out to you for a testimony. 14 Settle it therefore in your hearts, not to meditate beforehand what you shall answer. 15 For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to contradict nor resist. 16 And you shall be betrayed both by parents, and brothers, and kinsfolk, and friends, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. 17 And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. 18 But there shall not a hair of your head perish. 19 In your patience you will gain your souls. Destruction of Jerusalem. 20 And when you shall see Jerusalem surrounded with armies, then know that its desolation is near. 21 Then let them who are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them who are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the country enter into it. 22 For these are the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. 23 But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that nurse children, in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath upon this people. 24 And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles, until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. The Second Coming 25 And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, twenty-six men's hearts failing them for fear, and for looking toward those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Twenty-seven And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Twenty-eight And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, and lift up your heads, for your redemption draws near. Parable of the Fig Tree 29 And he spoke to them a parable, Look at the fig tree, and all the trees, 30 When they now shoot forth, you see and know of your own selves that summer is now near at hand. 31 So likewise you, when you see these things come to pass, know that the kingdom of God is near at hand. 32 Verily I say unto you, This generation shall not pass away, till all be fulfilled. 33 Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Warning to watch and pray. 34 And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be weighed down with carousing, and drunkenness, and cares of this life, and so that they come upon you unawares. 35 For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. 36 Watch therefore, and pray always, that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. 37 And in the daytime he was teaching in the temple, and at night he went out, and abode in the mount that is called the Mount of Olives. 38 And all the people came early in the morning to him in the temple, to hear him. Chapter 22 Judas Agrees to Betray Jesus 1 Now the Feast of Unleavened Bread drew near, which is called the Passover. 2 And the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. 3 Then entered Satan into Judas surnamed Iscariot, being of the number of the twelve. 4 And he went his way, and conferred with the chief priests and captains, how he might betray him unto them. 5 And they were glad, and agreed to give him money. 6 And he promised, and sought opportunity to betray him unto them in the absence of the multitude. Upper room is prepared. 7 Then came the day of unleavened bread, when the Passover must be killed. 8 And he sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare us the Passover, that we may eat. 9 And they said unto him, Where will you that we prepare? 10 And he said unto them, Behold, when you are entered into the city, there shall a man meet you, bearing a pitcher of water, follow him into the house where he enters in. 11 And you shall say unto the owner of the house, The master says unto you, 
where is the guest room, where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? 12 And he shall show you a large upper room furnished, there make ready. 13 And they went, and found as he had said unto them, and they made ready the Passover. Passover is celebrated. 14 And when the hour came, he sat down, and the twelve apostles with him. 15 And he said unto them, With desire I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. 16 For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof, until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. 17 And he took the cup, and gave thanks, and said, Take thus, and divide it among yourselves. 18 For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the wine, until the kingdom of God shall come. Institution of the Lord's Supper 19 And he took bread, and gave thanks, and broke it, and gave unto them, saying, This is my body which is given for you, this do in remembrance of me. 20 Likewise also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. Christ predicts his betrayer. 21 But, behold, the hand of him that betrays me is with me on the table. 22 And truly the Son of Man goes, as it was determined, but woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. 23 And they began to inquire among themselves, which of them it was that should do this thing. Disciples are you over who will be the greatest? 24 And there was also a strife among them, which of them should be accounted the greatest. 25 And he said unto them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. 26 But you shall not be so, but he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and he that is chief, as he that does serve. 27 For who is greater, he that sits at table, or he that serves? Is not he that sits at table? But I am among you as he that serves. 28 You are they who have continued with me in my trials. 29 And I appoint unto you a kingdom, as my Father has appointed unto me, 30 That you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Christ predicts Peter's denial. 31 And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. 32 But I have prayed for you, that your faith fail not and when you have returned, strengthen your brethren. 33 And he said unto him, Lord, I am ready to go with you, both into prison and to death. 34 And he said, I tell you, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day, before you shall three times deny that you know me. Christ predicts a coming conflict. 35 And he said unto them, When I sent you without purse and bag and sandals, lacked you anything? And they said, Nothing. 36 Then said he unto them, But now, he that has a purse, let him take it, and likewise his bag, and he that has no sword, let him sell his garment, and buy one. 37 For I say unto you, that this that is written must yet be accomplished in me, and he was reckoned among the transgressors, for the things concerning me have a fulfillment. 38 And they said, Lord, behold, here are two swords. And he said unto them, It is enough. Christ prays in Gethsemane. 39 And he came out, and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples also followed him. 40 And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray that you enter not into temptation. 41 And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast, and kneeled down, and prayed, 42 Saying, Father, if you are be willing, remove this cup from me, nevertheless not my will, but yours, be done. 43 And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. 44 And being in agony he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. 45 And when he rose up from prayer, and came to his disciples, he found them sleeping from the grief. 46 And said unto them, Why sleep you? Rise and pray, lest you enter into temptation. Judas betrays Christ. 47 And while he yet spoke, behold a multitude, and he that was called Judas, one of the twelve, went before them, and drew near unto Jesus to kiss him. 48 But Jesus said unto him, Judas, betray you the Son of Man with a kiss. 49 When they who were about him saw what would follow, they said unto him, Lord, shall we smite with the sword? 
Fifty and one of them struck the servant of the high priest, and cut off his right ear. Fifty one and Jesus answered and said, No more of this. And he touched his ear, and healed him. Fifty two then Jesus said unto the chief priests, and captains of the temple, and the elders, who were come to him, Do you come out, as against a thief, with swords and clubs? Fifty three when I was daily with you in the temple, you stretched forth no hands against me, but this is your hour, and the power of darkness. Peter denies Christ. Fifty four then they took him, and led him, and brought him into the high priest's house. And Peter followed afar off. Fifty five and when they had kindled a fire in the midst of the courtyard, and were set down together, Peter sat down among them. Fifty six but a certain maidservant beheld him as he sat by the fire, and earnestly looked upon him, and said, This man was also with him. Fifty seven and he denied it, saying, Woman, I know him not. Fifty eight and after a little while another saw him, and said, You are also of them. And Peter said, Man, I am not. Fifty nine and after the space of about one hour another confidently affirmed, saying, Of a truth this fellow also was with him, for he is a Galilean. Sixty and Peter said, Man, I know not what you say. And immediately, while he yet spoke, the cock crowed. Sixty one and the Lord turned, and looked upon Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said unto him, Before the cock crows, you shall deny me three times. 62 And Peter went out, and wept bitterly. Christ is stricken. 63 And the men that held Jesus mocked him, and struck him. 64 And when they had blindfolded him, they struck him on the face, and asked him, saying, Prophesy, who is it that struck you? 65 And many other things blasphemously spoke they against him. The Sanhedrin tries Jesus. 66 And as soon as it was day, the elders of the people and the chief priests and the scribes came together, and led him into their council, saying, Sixty-seven are you the Christ? Tell us. And he said unto them, If I tell you, you will not believe, Sixty-eight and if I also ask you, you will not answer me, nor let me go. Sixty-nine hereafter shall the Son of Man sit on the right hand of the power of God. Seventy then said they all, Are you then the Son of God? And he said unto them, You say that I am. Seventy-one And they said, What need we any further witness? For we ourselves have heard of his own mouth. Chapter 23, Pilate tries Jesus. One and the whole multitude of them arose, and led him unto Pilate. Two and they began to accuse him, saying, We found this fellow perverting the nation, and forbidding to give tribute to Caesar, saying that he himself is Christ a king. 3 And Pilate asked him, saying, Are you the king of the Jews? And he answered him and said, You say it. 4 Then said Pilate to the chief priests and to the people, I find no fault in this man. 5 And they were the more urgent, saying, He stirs up the people, teaching throughout all Judea, beginning from Galilee to this place. 6 When Pilate heard of Galilee, he asked whether the man were a Galilean. 7 And as soon as he knew that he belonged unto Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod, who himself also was at Jerusalem at that time. Herod tries Christ. 8 And when Herod saw Jesus, he was exceedingly glad, for he was desirous to see him for a long time, because he had heard many things about him, and he hoped to have seen some miracle done by him. 9 Then he questioned him with many words, but he answered him nothing. 10 And the chief priests and scribes stood and vehemently accused him. 11 And Herod with his men of war despised him, and mocked him, and arrayed him in a gorgeous robe, and sent him again to Pilate. 12 And the same day Pilate and Herod were made friends together, for before they were at enmity between themselves. Pilate tries Jesus a second time. 13 And Pilate, when he had called together the chief priests and the rulers and the people, 14 said unto them, You have brought this man unto me, as one that perverts the people, and, behold, I, having examined him before you, have found no fault in this man concerning those things of which you accuse him. 15 No, nor yet Herod, for I sent you to him, and, lo, nothing worthy of death was done by him. 16 I will therefore chastise him, and release him. 17 For of necessity he must release one unto them at the feast. 18 And they cried out all at once, 
saying, Away with this man, and release unto us Barabbas. 19 Kufa a certain sedition made in the city, and for murder, was cast into prison. 20 Pilate therefore, willing to release Jesus, spoke again to them. 21 But they cried, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. 22 And he said unto them the third time, Why, what evil has he done? I have found no cause of death in him, I will therefore chastise him, and let him go. 23 And they were urgent with loud voices, requiring that he might be crucified. And the voices of them and of the chief priests prevailed. 24 And Pilate gave sentence that it should be as they demanded. 25 And he released unto them him that for sedition and murder was cast into prison, whom they had desired, but he delivered Jesus to their will. Christ is crucified. 26 And as they led him away, they laid hold upon one Simon, a Cyrenian, coming in from the country, and on him they laid the cross, that he might bear it after Jesus. 27 And there followed him a great company of people, and of women, who also bewailed and lamented him. 28 But Jesus turning unto them said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves, and for your children. 29 For, behold, the days are coming, in the which they shall say, Blessed are the barren, and the wounds that never bore, and the breasts which never nursed. 30 Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. 31 For if they do these things with a green tree, what shall be done with the dry? 32 And there were also two others, malefactors, led with him to be put to death. 33 And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him, and the malefactors, one on the right hand, and the other on the left. 34 Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his clothing, and cast lots. 35 And the people stood beholding. And the rulers also with them derided him saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is Christ, the chosen of God. 36 And the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him, and offering him vinegar, 37 And saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. 38 And a superscription also was written over him in letters of Greek, and Latin, and Hebrew, This is the king of the Jews. 39 And one of the malefactors who were hanged railed at him, saying, If you are Christ, save yourself and us. 40 But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, seeing you are in the same condemnation? 41 And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man has done nothing amiss. 42 And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. 43 And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto you, Today shall you be with me in paradise. 44 And it was about the sixth hour, and there was a darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. 45 And the sun was darkened, and the curtain of the temple was torn in the middle. 46 And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit, and having said this, he gave up the spirit. 47 Now when the centurion saw what was done, he glorified God, saying, Certainly this was a righteous man. 48 And all the people that came together to see that sight, beholding the things which were done, smote their breasts, and returned. 49 And all his acquaintances, and the women that followed him from Galilee, stood afar off, beholding these things. Christ is buried. 50 And, behold, there was a man named Joseph, a member of the council and he was a good man, and just, fifty-one the same had not consented to the council and the action of them winking face he was of Arimathea, a city of the Jews, who also himself waited for the kingdom of God. Fifty-two this man went unto Pilate, and asked for the body of Jesus. Fifty-three and he took it down, and wrapped it in linen, and laid it in a sepulchre that was hewn in stone, in which never man before was laid. Fifty-four and that day was the preparation, and the Sabbath was coming on. 55 And the women also, who came with him from Galilee, followed after, and beheld the sepulchre, and how his body was laid. In the grave. 56 And they returned, and prepared spices and ointments, and rested the Sabbath day according to the commandment. Chapter 24 The Resurrection 1 Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, 
they came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and certain others came with them. 2. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. 3. And they entered in, and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. 4. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed about this, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. 5. And as they were afraid, and bowed down their faces to the ground, they said unto them, Why seek you the living among the dead? 6. He is not here, but is risen, remember how he spoke unto you when he was yet in Galilee. 7. Saying, the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and the third day rise again. 8 And they remembered his words, 9 And returned from the sepulchre, and told all these things unto the eleven, and to all the rest. 10 It was Mary Magdalene, and Joanna, and Mary the mother of James, and other women that were with them, who told these things unto the apostles. 11 And their words seemed to them as idle tales, and they believed them not. 12 Then arose Peter, and ran unto the sepulchre, and stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves, and departed, wondering in himself at that which had come to pass. Christ appears on the road to Emmaus. 13 And, behold, two of them went that same day to a village called Emmaus, which was from Jerusalem about three score furlongs. 14 And they talked together of all these things which had happened. 15 And it came to pass, that, while they discussed together and reasoned, Jesus himself drew near, and went with them. 16 But their eyes were held that they should not know him. 17 And he said unto them, What manner of words are these that you have one to another, as you walk, and are sad? 18 And the one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answering said unto him, Are you a stranger in Jerusalem, and have not known the things which have come to pass there in these days? 19 And he said unto them, What things? And they said unto him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people. 20 And how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death, and have crucified him. 21 But we hoped that it was he who should have redeemed Israel, and besides all this, today is the third day since these things were done. 22 Yea, and certain women also of our company made us astonished who were early at the sepulchre, twenty-three and when they found not his body, they came, saying, that they had also seen a vision of angels, who said that he was alive. Twenty-four and certain of them who were with us went to the sepulchre, and found it even so as the women had said, but him they saw not. Twenty-five then he said unto them, O foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken, twenty-six ought not Christ to have suffered these things, and to enter into his glory. 27 And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. 28 And they drew near unto the village, where they were going, and he made as though he would have gone further. 29 But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. 30 And it came to pass, as he sat to eat with them, he took bread, and blessed it, and broke it, and gave to them. 31 And their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. 32 And they said one to another, Did not our hearts burn within us, while he talked with us by the way, and while he opened to us the scriptures? Proof of his resurrection. 33 And they rose up the same hour, and returned to Jerusalem, and found the eleven gathered together, and them that were with them, 34 saying, The Lord is risen indeed and has appeared to Simon. 35 And they told what things were done in the way, and how he was known to them in the breaking of bread. 36 And as they thus spoke, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them, and said unto them, Peace be unto you. 37 But they were terrified and frightened, and supposed that they had seen a spirit. 38 And he said unto them, Why are you troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your hearts? 39 Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself, handle me, and see, for a spirit has not flesh and bones, as you see me have. 40 And when he had thus spoken, he showed them his hands and his feet. 41 And while they yet believed not for joy, and wondered, he said unto them, Have you here any food? 42 And they gave him a piece of a broiled fish, and a honeycomb. 43 And he took it, and did eat before them. 
the great commission 44 and he said unto them these are the words which i spoke unto you while i was yet with you that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of moses and in the prophets and in the psalms concerning me 45 then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures 46 and said unto them thus it is written and thus it was fit for christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day 47 and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at jerusalem 48 and you are witnesses of these things the accession 49 and behold i send the promise of my father upon you but tarry you in the city of jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high 50 and he led them out as far as to bethany and he lifted up his hands and blessed them 51 and it came to pass while he blessed them he was parted from them and carried up into heaven 52 and they worshiped him and returned to jerusalem with great joy 53 and were continually in the temple praising and blessing god amen